All right, so I know it's been a minute since I've actually done any shooting videos here in the last couple weeks. I've kind of taken a break from it, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, the farmers have been out in the fields clearing out the crops of the fields that I typically shoot in, and because of that, I shoot, when they do that, I usually try to stay out of their way. That way, once they get it all cleared out, I kind of have the whole field to myself. I don't have to worry about being in anybody's way. So I went out today to actually go check to see what type of progress they might be making and if, if, if the fields were close to being cleared out. And I was pleasantly surprised when I got out there to see that they had almost all the field, the field itself cleared and then the half of the field where you guys usually see me do the 1500 yard and in shots that whole half of the field was completely cleared out so I felt pretty comfortable that I wasn't going to be in anybody's way so I went ahead and brought the 7 Som and the RPR here out uh, to do some shooting now the 7 Som I wasn't actually out doing any videos with it today I was actually just out collecting actually comparing data with the new barrel to the old barrel making sure everything matched up which it really did uh, barely had to change I had to very do some very slight change in some numbers but beyond that everything lined up absolutely perfect so the RPR though was the thing that I wanted to go ahead and do a video with today because if you guys know anything about this RPR you know that it's kind of a joint project between me and my friend Joey and while I still have it in my possession here for the time being I figured I'd go ahead and knock out a video with it so uh, today was some incredibly difficult conditions as you'll see in this video we had a 15 to 20 mile an hour fish tailing headwind and if any of you guys know about shooting in the wind you know that a fish tailing head or tailwind is one of the hardest winds to make wind calls in uh, so especially with a tiny little 107 grain bullet and with the load that I have worked up for this is traveling just under 3,000 feet a second so with all that it was gonna be fairly difficult to make proper wind calls and you guys will see the wind flag and how absolutely how all over the place it was so um, was pleasantly surprised uh, every time I shoot this RPR I, I'm more and more surprised at how well it performs especially for just being a stock RPR barrel um, this thing has never disappointed me if you guys saw the video we did a while back the uh, center X files with the RPR the thing was just stacking 10 rings and today was no exception uh, other than the fact that we weren't shooting for 10 rings. I set a can of shaving cream out at 1,022 yards in this crazy wind. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I only really took two shots at the can. The first couple of shots I took were actually just to kind of see how the wind was acting. And I was taking those at center mass. So I set a can of shaving cream directly in front of the head of the Ipsic, so the six by six head of the Ipsic, so that I would have had to have made a head shot to bust the can. And as you'll see, we knocked that out in pretty short order. So here you go. Uh, one other thing I want to say is I'm sorry that the video is somewhat shaky. I actually did run it through some software to kind of remove some of the shaking, but it obviously doesn't get it all the way out. So there is some shaking uh, with a 20 mile an hour headwind blowing at the spotting scope. Obviously, it's hard to get rid of all the shaking. And the file that I have had my downrange camera ended up getting corrupted so I wasn't able to use that so all we had was the the camera from the spotting scope but as you'll see it's fairly clear you can see exactly what's going on where the bullets are impacting all that that Hawk endurance spotting scope has never disappointed me on how clear uh, on the videos you can absolutely see where the bullets are landing so this is the RPR versus a can of shaving cream 107 match kings at a thousand and twenty two yards in some insane headwinds. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Uh, just off right in. Just off right in. There we go. Here comes that mirage killer.
shot. Alright, so I'm happy about this. Uh, it was a fourth round impact. Looks like we caught it right there on the side of the can. Uh, had the can staged as a headshot. So this is at 1,022 yards with a 6mm Creed Moor. Uh, RPR, so stock RPR barrel in some crazy fish tailing winds. As you can see, this wind is just all over the place, switching directions back and forth. Fish tailing head wind, which is one of the hardest winds to call. Um, as a matter of fact, my first shot was off the right edge and I was actually aiming center mass. I wasn't actually aiming for the can my first couple of shots because I wanted to kind of gauge and see what, what the wind was doing. Second shot was elevation wise center mass. Third shot I did come up hoping to get on the can, blew it off left edge. Um, and then fourth shot, let's see here. Right there, bullet turned sideways, busted right through the can. So that is 1,022 yards with the Ruger Precision Rifle on a can of shaving cream in some crazy fishtail and winds. Um, and one thing I want to note is as you can see, crops are for the most part out, so we do have the entire field back. Um, so much more ELR, long range, all that to come now that uh, the fields are completely clear. So there you go. This was just the first of many.